Hi guys, it's me, Sharon, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome, and if you're returning, thank you and welcome back. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below, along with the notification bell. Hit it twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Here on Creative Glam, I love to share videos on how I DIY beautiful and functional home decor while on a budget. And this also includes the creation of greeting cards, meal prep, and travel too. So if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Introduce yourself. I'd love to get to know you and I'd love for you to get to know me. Today on Creative Glam, I'm going to share with you a vignette, a farmhouse vignette. And then after that, I'm going to share with you all the unboxing of my Joe Malone purchase. So let's get started. I got this mason jar. I believe I got this mason jar from Hobby Lobby quite a while ago. I could have painted it uh, and I thought about it, but I use it quite a bit. I make uh, specialty teas at night and that's the perfect size for me so I can keep it fresh. So I decided not to paint it. I decided just to drop something in there to give me that white look. that bicycle I think that's really cute now the the um the I don't know what you call it I call it a farmhouse garden you've seen that in a previous video that I did over the spring last spring I believe you saw that and I just added some succulents that I have left over from a different from another project um, I will link those videos up above and then I got this cute little bicycle um, it was so cute and I just had to have it um, so I thought that would be perfect for my farmhouse vignette and then I'm gonna take it and just a few little a little sprig of flowers in there I <laughs> think that's just so cute uh, and I just downloaded some images from Google a farmhouse wreath on a buffalo check background that says enjoy the little things and then I followed up with that and I said the same um, images I put down in the bottom of the tray the same gray and white buffalo check a little trinket box that I got from Target at the um, Target dollar spot and I also got this succulent from Target from the dollar spot and then I have another <laughs> it's Target all over the place I have another succulent um, that I got from the dollar spot at Target And I DIY my farmhouse beads myself from beads that I already had in my jewelry stash. I am so super excited. My package has finally arrived from Joe Malone's. I went on the website and reordered a candle 
um, that I just absolutely love. Uh, the first Joe Malone candle I ever purchased, I actually purchased in London uh, at the Joe Malone store. And I have fallen in love with their fragrances and their candles ever since. So they give you little extras. Um, here I've got a wood, sage, and sea salt cologne sample. Um, what else did I get? I got another sample. This is lime, basil, and mandarin sample. And I've got another sample. This one is wild blue shell cologne sample I've never smelled these before so I'm excited to try these and these little samples are perfect for your handbag so they don't take up a lot of space and uh, then what is this this is I'm not sure what this is let's see <laughs> this is Rose Angelica body cream. So I love roses. Oh, oh, that smells so good. Oh, wow. That's nice. Oh, that smells wonderful. That is heavenly. That's a perfect name. Tudor Rose Angelica. It's If you like rose scent like I do, I love roses. I love rose scented candles. I love rose scented essential oils. So uh, I've got some uh, French uh, cologne um, that is a rose scent that I got in Paris. I still have some of that and I love the way it smells. I love the scent of rose. So this is the Tudor Rose Angelica Hand Cream. I will be repurchasing this. I've never had it before, but this is absolutely beautiful. And then I got the, and this is probably the fragrance that I ordered. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Yep, that is the Peony Blush and Suede Cologne. I love the way that smells. I just put the rose uh, hand cream on. I probably shouldn't put this on top of it. I'm going to be smelling a hot mess. But... I smelled that one before. I knew I liked that one. The peony and blush. Yeah, so that's the one ounce. It's a floral scent. If you like flowers, again, I like roses. I love floral scent. I love peonies. So if you like that type of, if you like floral fragrances, this is a perfect one. I would say it's more a spring summer scent, but it is deep enough. The notes are deep enough where you could probably get away with it in the fall as well. And here it is, people. This is my candle. This is the smaller candle. This is the peony and blush suede. And it is my absolute favorite. I love the candle, so I knew I would like the fragrance. And that's what I purchased uh, uh, in London when I went to the Jo Malone store. So I just re-up as necessary whenever um, I'm getting low. And then, as you can see, they give you all the extras as well. And there it is. My Jo Malone candle. It smells so heavenly. It is a floral. It is a light, clean, 
floral smell. If you've ever smelled linen paper by Lalia, that is an excellent candle. Uh, it is a floral scent, it's clean, it's light, and the throw is fantastic. Same thing with my Jo Malone candles. This one lasts me, it's hard for me to say how long it lasts me because I don't let it burn like I do other candles. I, I just burn it long enough for the throw to hit throughout the house. Uh, and this little one can do that. Uh, one day when I grow up, I guess I'll get the big one. But until then, this is absolutely perfect. I love it. And that's it, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed my farmhouse vignette and the unboxing of my Joe Malone purchases. If you did, so make sure you come back and tune in and stay in touch by hitting that subscribe button below along with the notification bell. Hit it twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And with that being said, have a blessed day. And I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Bye.